Oh hi, so today's topic is gonna be a little weird. I didn't know breathing is this complicated, you know. I thought it's the easiest thing. Inhale, exhale, that's all. But you might be breathing in a wrong way and you don't know it yet. So yeah, hi. Welcome to my channel, I'm Shamapte. And I'm so to see you. And today I'm gonna talk about how you might be breathing in a wrong way, which can be affecting lots of things. So yeah, let's start. Okay, so there are two ways to breathe. Through your nose and through your mouth. And if you are a mouth breather, it's not that good. I mean, it's not good. And I'm gonna tell you why. There are many reasons. So first is that when you breathe through your nostrils, the air gets filtered, warm and humidify. But your mouth cannot do that. And when the dry air passes through your lungs without that necessary filtering, it can cause significant amount of water loss. So this is a problem. Mouth breathing also can lead to many oral issues like bad breath. It can disturb your mouth's microbiome. You can have poor gum health. And there are many people who don't know they're breathing through mouth consciously. Studies showed that uh, 30 to 50 percent of adults they breathe through their mouth. It is all right when you have nose congestion or you have increased physical activity. I know I breathe through my mouth when I have anxiety because when I get anxiety attacks, I, I have difficulty in breathing. So that time I cannot control it. Except that and except when I'm in gym working out or when like I'm having nose congestion, I'm gonna check uh, like I'm not breathing through my mouth. And I caught myself like several times doing this like, without any reason. <laughs> My nose is fine, everything is fine still, I'm like... <sighs> so, <laughs> I have to check there. And you know what, this mouth breathing, it can lead to dry lips. And since I started like checking it, like I'm not breathing through my mouth, my lips, they feel less dry. For sure, for sure. And if you get up in the morning with dry mouth, dry lips, extremely dry lips, you might be a mouth breather. But if you breathe through your mouth when you sleep, then how are you gonna check it? Like there are tips and all. I'm not, I'm not comfortable with that because you know when I sleep, I need total comfort. They say that don't sleep like this because your skin's gonna sag this way. I'm like, can't do it, can't do it. Sound sleep is more important to me. If I have these rules that I have to sleep like this, I have to sleep with my mouth shut, I won't be able to sleep because I'm gonna be anxious and I already have enough anxiety. I can't do it. But still, <laughs> I tell on anyone, like, uh, when I'm sleeping to see though, if I'm like um, breathing through my mouth, and he says, sometimes, sometimes I do it. There, I cannot do anything about it right now because I don't, I'm not willing to use those steps. But yes, I'm trying to check how I breathe uh, when I'm awake because that time I have the control over my body and I, I try not to be a mouth breather <laughs> because that can lead to many issues and you know what? You also might feel tired easily. I'm gonna tell you why. Because when you breathe through your nose, you can get more oxygen with fewer breath. Mouth breathing has been associated with decreased oxygen and um, that can lead to exhaustion, tiredness. Also sleeping issue because if you breathe through your mouth, when you sleep, you might get disturbed sleep and how it can affect your skin, like I told you, uh, mouth breathing can lead to tiredness, you're gonna feel exhausted, which is gonna show on your skin because when it comes to human body, everything is connected. And another thing, there are like theory that, you know, mouth breathing also can lead to uh, skin's water loss, increased water loss, but you don't have enough studies to like back up this theory, but still like, Mouth breathing is generally not that good. Especially mouth breathing can affect growing face, the structure of it. It can cause uh, jaws and teeth to mismatch. But for adults, I didn't read anything that can say, okay, it still can affect our uh, facial structure and all. But a child can face issue. If a child is a heavily mouth breather, then it can affect their facial structure. It won't happen overnight, but it can happen over a long period of time if the child is continuously doing that. So yes, this is something I didn't know. So I was just reading a few articles and I came across this. Mouth breathing can give you dry lips for sure. Also, it can affect your immunity, sleep and gum health. And about skin's dehydration, uh, nothing is certain yet, but yeah, 
if you can just check your breathing don't uh, breathe through your mouth i'm gonna leave few resources in the description box which you might find this to be helpful and if you know anything else regarding this then feel free to let us know so yeah that's all for now i hope you found this to be helpful and thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you very soon bye bye Hi, hi, hi. Today, my dear, is a marriage. Hi. Okay, it looks like here commercial, but I like it. Hi. Good day, dear. It's healthier to breathe through your nose.